who here is really to blame? So, Mitch, Sony. do you want to tell us what the um, what the kind of, like like standstill was? Like what was happening that we know right. so far? Right. Essentially, as as far as I can put it together, we don't we don't know the extent of the deal and everything. Obviously, they had the five picture deal. Now, for some reason, Tom Holland was signed on for seven movies, which. <laughs> I, I don't understand why. So was Tom uh, and, Watts. And there's no way but, that Tom did not like understand that only five are MCU and the rest are Sony. Like yeah. his his dudes would have went over the contract same with Watts. They're not stupid. So it's like, wait. Yeah, but even then, it's kind of like, well, you know, we, we'll we'll sign him for this amount of movies, but you know, we'll renegotiate the terms of the deal and see how it's going after mm -hmm. five, and then you extend it. Obviously, that, that's how I understand that bit. Yeah. Um, we, we knew Sony put the money down for the solo movies and Disney got nothing. It turns out Disney got 5% of everything. Uh -huh. So from Far From Home 1.1 1, 1. 1 billion total gross, they got 55,000. Yeah, or 55 um, million? Yeah, yeah, that's that sounds correct. Was yeah. it million or is it thousand? Wouldn't that be million? Because 5% yes, of it, a... It, it, it would probably be million from yeah. a billion. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. failed mass twice, so if you didn't, you couldn't tell. Either way, you couldn't pay for a movie out of that money. So, right. uh, but really a lot. There's also so, other reports coming out that Sony wanted Disney to co-finance half the film. Yeah, which is what Sony uh, Disney offered to do. In right. This. Mm -hmm. It's come out, you know, they wanted to co-finance 50-50 and also get 50-50 profits. That yeah. makes and, sense. <laughs> So only you're like, yeah, no, no, we we want all of it. So people saying Disney are greedy, like, mm, yeah, really? No. They they put all the work. It's their resources. It's their actors. It's you know their I concept mean, artists, what, their, their set designers. Everything. That's the thing people don't understand. Marvel took development from their own sources, like. They use the people that work on everything MCU, the script writers, the costume designers, and they did that work. On yeah. their own time, so they were spending money that Sony was not putting yeah. forward. It's like what? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's basically Sony just showed up and just said yes, no to the things that were, were shown to them. Yep. Yes, yeah, so Sony put the money briefcase down and walked away, and then let Disney do everything. That's what it was. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the fact though, it's like if they wanted to renegotiate and be like, okay, let's do it fifty-fifty because we're gonna now help finance it because it was a huge success. And Marvel di and Disney barely saw any of that money. Probably the th how much resources Marvel and Disney put in was probably nowhere near the amount that they actually got back with oh, that 5%. So they're like, fine, let's do this. We're going to pay for half of the cost. And not only are we going to sit there and do that, we get half of the cost of everything Whoops. back and then we're going to make everything part of mcu not just spider-man well uh, that's kind of the thing yeah. we're going to talk about that in the, like the next topic we have coming out for you guys what i don't understand here is they try to negotiate this and sony is shifting the blame over on disney disney hasn't rebuttaled as of this recording yet they might they might not who knows um but it confuses me that this giant core member who's been front and center of three of the biggest MCU films and two of his own standalone that literally brought him back into popularity after Tasm, like, you know, just completely just blindsided Spider-Man fans and, like, you know, like, failed that franchise, that they couldn't work something out. Like, and according to reports, they did have counter offers but sony wouldn't accept it so and and before anyone says it yes we are all well aware that disney has the merchandise rights yes mm -hmm. uh, that, yep. that is the thing that they, I mean, do own. They, they, they only own that because sony had to sell it back to disney yeah. in 2011 because so, of the failures of spider-man <laughs> yep exactly so you can use that argument but you know people are going like well disney sold spider-man from the first place well sony sold the merchandise rights off so mm -hmm. what's your point Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. and the TV rights, which we'll talk about yeah. that in a little bit. Which Sony, I, I feel like, and I, I was talking to Shay last night in a live stream. Sony has this pattern: when they hit a high, they follow up with a stupid low that completely sinks them. Yeah. PlayStation Two. They're also scared of the third movie. No. Exactly. Like, I don't get this. Like, people, they have to understand. 
there's going to be a huge, huge pushback against this. And there already is. Like, casual people, two people at the gym stopped me today. They were like, so, um, what's happening? And I'm not watching those movies. I was like, correct, you're not. If you like I mean, the MCU, they're like, all right. I'm, I mean, have you have you uh, seen the backlash on Twitter where people are saying that they're probably not going to see any more oh, yeah. Sony movies I mean, because of this? No, same. You're not, not going to see Spider-Verse stuff, so what's the point in seeing anything? You can't. Yeah. Yeah. No. It's... But um, just to speak to the ca- like the ultra casual person, my mother was talking to me about this last night. Oh yeah, she's yeah. like 50, 60. She's like, "What is going on?" Yep. No. <laughs> yeah. Spider Man's so. back in pop culture better than he's ever been before. He's everywhere now. Like he's peaked the last like five years, and that's kind of the thing. And um, the nerds of the multiverse also said, "Who's a sponsor level and a member?" He says, "Yeah, I'm pissed at both Sony and Disney." Disney makes more than enough from all the other Marvel movies. They don't need the 50% of Spider-Man's profits. And Sony, congratulations. You've now lost any chance you've had at a successful Spider-Man franchise. Plus, you kissed all of those Spider-Man's TV shows goodbye. And that is 100% fact. Like, that is... I mean, uh, like, I'm just I'm just really weird because from what I've seen on, on like Twitter and the internet is... like. Some people think that Sony created Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, yeah. Like, oh, I, I saw be like, oh yeah, it's Sony's IP. It's like, no, it's not. Right. Sony yeah, did no, not, not make Spider-Man. No. Disney has the IP because yeah. they own Marvel. Like, yeah, that's what, that's what I had to like dive and tell the like, people. And well, no, Sony, I'm like, no, they just make the movies. They didn't create the IP. It's been <laughs> Marvel since 1962. And, yeah. Like, there's, there's it was, reasons it was why never, Marvel's um... the one who sits there and's like, "Hey, look, it's this many years anniversary." Right. <laughs> oh. There was never a dispute whether it was like in Buka or Matoya uh, over in Japan making Spider-Man. It was always Lee and Ditko, so you know, right? They're Marvel. They're not Sony. exactly. So I guess that on the on the 